The Spotfire AI recommendation engine is an intelligent way to build visual analysis based on relationships in your data. By looking for predictor variables given a target variable in a data set, the recommendation engine will rank charts for the user, thus preventing the user from having to manually compare different variables for insight. This greatly accelerates analysis creation for the end user. The engine works by first removing any noisy or uninformative data from the data set, then uses statistical inference to find the strongest relationships, and finally, ranks the recommended charts by strength of those relationships. In this example, we have a data set from a telecommunications company that's interested in looking at customer retention. We have a column for customer status, which shows whether or not the customer is active or whether they've churned. We have columns for initial channel, the handset that they use, any extra charges that they have, charges over the last few months, total inbound and outbound calls, propensity of inbound and outbound calls from other churners, and the data upload and download usage. By going to a new page, I can click the Start from Data button, which opens up my data panel. Here, I see each of the variables in my data set. Since I'm interested in which customers are active and which I've churned, and looking at predictors why, I'll select this as a target variable. The first chart is always a distribution of the data in that column. If I scroll down, I see these other charts with the term relationship preceding the recommendation. These are relationships that have been found by the AI recommendation engine. The strongest relationship is with handset and propensity of inbound calls from other churners. I'll select this chart. Here I see that on average, customers with more inbound calls from other churners are more likely to churn themselves. I can change this chart styling by right clicking and going to side by side bars. And here I can see the data a little more clearly. I see that for the rugged handset, these customers are less susceptible to churning when receiving other calls from other churning customers. If instead of looking by handset, I want to see another variable, I can go to my data panel and I can select initial channel and drag that over. And now I see the same chart, but now colored by the different channels that the customer have used. I don't see a strong difference between the different channels and whether or not a customer has churned. If I go back to my data panel, I can see other relationships. I see the next strongest relationship is with extra charges and the propensity of inbound calls from other churners. Adding this to my canvas, I can see the distribution. I can change aspects of this again by going to the x-axis and I'll change this to log scale. Here I can easily see that the customers with the most extra charges are more likely to churn. If I want to see this breakdown by handset, I can come over here into my data panel and drag handset over to the trellising. I see pretty much the same distribution regardless of handset. Let's say I'd like to have this visualized a different way. I can go back to my data panel and for the same relationship, I can go to more like this. These charts all look at the same relationships but use different visual styles. I'll take this density plot. I can easily see here that there's a high density of customers that don't have extra charges and they're still active. Conversely, I see that customers that have a lot of extra charges have churned. From my data panel, I can go back and I can keep scrolling down and I can see all the other relationships and all the other predictors. I can select different variables and go about creating new charts in this way.